Hello, hello. G'day, mate. Nah, just kidding. What's up, guys? My name is David, and today I'll be showing you how to do a pictorialism effect on a image through Photoshop tutorial. That's right. Get there. Do your work. Whatever. All right, let's get started. Uh, all of y'all know about pictorialism. If you don't know, I'll be putting it is a link down in the description so you can understand, read, and learn. All right. So first, I like to um, unlock this main layer. Name it main layer. That's right, main layer. And then uh, what I like to do is uh, click and duplicate this layer. All right. So we got two layers. So first on the main layer, what you need to do is go on to adjustments and uh, just click on black and white. So this is like your adjustment layer. Use that. Get the right play around with it. And uh, there you go. There, so this is what I'm choosing. And what I like to use in this is, is levels levels as well just play around with the contrast you know dodging and burning and voila all right so these two is done right remember that remember that so what I like to do by clicking on the main image I like to go on to the uh, brush tool got it and uh, you see this that's right had to get go uh, I, 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 I like to choose a uh, soft soft round pressure size or soft soft brush or something whatever what do you call it so I just choose this as you can see and um, <coughs> um, I just put on the opacity down to 25 maybe yeah and then um, and uh, since this is a brush tool I recommend that you guys use the color black and white so I'm just gonna show you how you do it so what I do here is just adding just brushing on top here there just you know make a frame try to make it look like that old vibe you see in the film camera something like that you know just keep on doing it and if you want to add like you know some uh, white into you know to get that vibe just click on white and then you know just add away so there you go so this is uh pretty good starting to get better so um there so all right let's move on to that so we go into the main to the copy layer and uh, what we'll be doing in this layer is that we're going to be adding blur so blur yeah so go to filter right here filter blur and what I use is casting blur so in here I just you know show it right there but I think oh, I think 8 would do good 8 would do good indeed alright there you go so there's a blur as you can see so what are you gonna do is that click main layer and then add mask voila and by adding mask most of you most of y'all already know what mask is um, so I'm not gonna get into detail because um, I gotta do this quick and so uh, all right so by clicking mask right here uh, just you know using color black to actually overwrite write that white and I'll be just you know going through here and as you can as you notice some some stuff is is or oh, some places that I am clicking are actually going blur. Can see that? Yeah, because I can see it too. All right, starting to get better. Wow. And then bam, see that? All right, that's pretty good. So this is this is a pretty good effect. And uh, for the last step. And as I was, oh, I, I was gonna say, sorry, just notice, you have to, uh, you can uh, g add a texture image, you know. So this is a texture image that I got from the net. So you know, just uh, if you want a texture image, just type in texture in uh, 
Google, search whatever that you know that you can get image of te texture. So um, this is uh, my texture layer. Uh, I might texture layer. All right. So right here, I'm just gonna click right here, and I'm just gonna make it big. That's what she said. All right. Sorry, just a dry drop. My bad. And um, click apply, and then this is your texture, as you can see. So what I like to do on my texture image is that um, I like to add uh, sorry, uh, contrast, contrast. You know, just play around with it. Uh, uh, for uh, me, I just like you know any type of contrast. So um, right now, just uh, get um, maybe levels, something, play, play that go darker, something like that, and then looks good. Starting to look good. So um, I'll just you know select these three and put it all the way down underneath blur, as you can see. So right now I'll be going to blur, and uh, by clicking right by right clicking you go to blend blending option, and in blending option I just recommend you know just use blend just normal. You can there's there's a, a, a variety of stuff you can do, but uh, for me I just like using normal. So right here just clicking it and then you you can start to see the texture image coming through the coming through so um i'll just choose where 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 it'll go and um i think uh, right there and uh it's it's, uh, it's it's starting to look good but what i like to do on my texture image is just click and again filter and then blur it so what blur i'm going to use is uh motion blur and motion blur I like because it's um it, it kind of kind of has that brush stroke stroke, so um oh there you go so it's already shown so right here ankle just I recommend yeah just doing one four seven uh, ninety degrees down so this just play around right here looks like that but um for me I just like because it, it kind of has that um, brush stroke effect. So I'm um, just clicking OK and then voila, there you go. You got yourself a pictorialism image that I just created from the normal. And um, by, uh, that's it. So if all y'all like this tutor tutorial, uh, please like, share. And uh, if you think um, you don't, you know, if you type those, uh, if you are a type of those photographer that doesn't really, really like Photoshop and you think Photoshop is, you know, whatever um you can shove your opinions up your ass because i don't even give a shit so um yeah and um have fun with it don't forget to play around subscribe i don't you know subscribe whatever share it but uh yeah pictorialism so this was just an easy tutorial and uh this was basically my way uh my teacher has his own way but um it was just too goddamn long and so uh, there i got my own so, alright, uh, thank you and goodbye.